What is going on everyone? Welcome to the 10 week update of the seal and shine over here versus graphene flux wax versus hybrid solutions ceramic spray coating over on the right hand side. For those of you that are new to this test, if, uh, if you didn't watch the original videos there, the products were all applied in the exact same way with two coats 24 hours apart on a fully prepped surface. And every single wash has been with a pH balanced soap. Um, I do not use deionized water, so the pH isn't exactly balanced, but it's close. What else is there that's relevant? Um, the vehicle is a daily driver. It gets parked outside at all times. And now this is the 10 week update. I'll show you guys the same stuff as I've shown you in the last couple of videos where we do the before water behavior, then we'll wash it, dry it to get rid of any soap residue, wash it again, and then see what, uh, what it looks like. Should mention that it was just a little wet here on the right hand side where the hybrid ceramic spray was because I've got the sprinklers going this morning so got a little bit of um, overspray on that. Also comment below and let me know if you guys think at this point this test should be stopped or if we should continue on with it because the results aren't going to change from the previous two uh, update videos it's getting very clear that it's going from driver side to passenger side in terms of longevity here which to me the seal and shine is a bit of a surprise I thought it would at least outlast and it still might but I thought it would outlast the uh, the flex wax for sure and this is just Adam's car shop booth today
So this is the water beating from the sealant shine. Still beating. And then the graphene flux wax. And then finally the hybrid solutions. The hybrid solutions has definitely got the tightest and most propped up water beads. Hopefully you guys can hear me over all this road noise. But uh, in terms of water beading, the hybrid solutions is still better. Sheeting, still faster. The other two, to me, are pretty much even. Although I would say that the seal and shine is probably slightly better in beading, but that could just be me. So there you have it. I mean, at this point now, it's been 10 weeks, daily driven car. This car has gone through extreme heats. Like we just went through a heat wave where it was 42 degrees Celsius. I think that converts to like over 110 degrees Fahrenheit anyway. And when this was all parked in the sun, for those that are interested, and I wish I had done this sooner, but I use a temperature gauge, an infrared temperature gauge to kind of look and see if there's any difference in the temperature readings. The graphene flux wax actually was a few degrees cooler, followed by the ceramic and then seal and shine which I think that's one of the claims that they make with graphene that it's supposed to be better at heat um, dispersion. And actually that is true. So I tested it on my test panel as well, left that out in the sun and the graphene fared slightly better than the other two. So that's interesting. But there you guys have it. I mean, the results are pretty much the same as they were in the eight week test. These two now are starting to, in my opinion, die off a little bit at two and a half, almost two and a half months. The seal and shine results are consistent with what I've gotten in the past. You could say it probably lasts about three and a half to four months, whereas this is probably going to be about the same, and then this is probably going to go about six months, I would say. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to continue this test or whether we should end this test now and then move on to something else. Maybe ceramic spray can move on and we can do two other things over here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. And... Pretty soon we're going to do a torture test of all these as well. I got a test panel now, so I'm going to apply all three to the test panel and then do a chemical resistance test to see which one holds up better. So stay tuned for that uh, in the next couple of weeks here as well. With that, guys, this was a 10-week update video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. And like I mentioned in the community post, I really wanted to post last week, but that heat wave was just absolutely brutal. I didn't do any detailing stuff at all whatsoever. And just so you get an idea of how hot things were, I had a bottle of Chemical Guys uh, order eliminator sitting in my Jeep. And this is what happened. Just completely shrunk because of the heat and leaked out everywhere. But now... So that was, it peaked out at 42 degrees Celsius. And today, for example, right now, right now it's 19 degrees Celsius. So what a difference a few days can make. But with that, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you.